Hey everyone, I hope you guys are perfectly fine and in this video, we are going to test and review DSO338. So without any more further ado, let's get started. Before I start with the video, let me make one thing very clear. Banggood.com did send me this product for absolutely free, but the video is completely unbiased. Whatever I say in this video is my personal opinion and Banggood has nothing to do with it. So now let's start with the video. So let's start with the technical specification of this product. So the model number for this oscilloscope is DSO338 or 338, whatever you want to call it. And this oscilloscope offers 2.4 inch display which is a 320 by 240p display. For the size, it's a really good display, no complaints over here. This oscilloscope offers a 30 MHz bandwidth, which is good enough, but I have not tested it yet. It offers a 200M sampling rate. It has got a 64MB of internal storage, and it can store up to 2000 waveforms. Also, one more thing which I really like about this oscilloscope is that it has got a 3000 mAh battery inside which can last up to 10 hours according to the manufacturer. This oscilloscope is currently available at around 90 US dollars at banggood.com and if you want, you can get a 15% discount if you use this coupon code right over here. And there's a link in the description, just enter the coupon code and you will get the discount. Alright, enough about the technical specification. Now let's see what else we get in the box with the oscilloscope. Inside the box we obviously get our DSO338 packed with bubble wrap foam. Let's skip it aside for a moment and see what else. We also get this micro USB to USB cable which is of a really good quality. And also we get this oscilloscope probe which is this hook kind of probe. And if you remove the hook you get this pointed tip along with this alligator clip for the ground. The probe also offers a 1x and 10x configuration. But on the other side of the probe, you get a 3.5mm headphone plug. This is quite strange, but generally we see a BNC connector on such probes. But with this oscilloscope, we get a 3.5mm headphone plug. But on the plus side, it's a gold plated one. So no complaints over here. Along with all of this, we also get a user manual, which is quite basic, but does its job just fine. All of this sounds pretty great, right? But how to use it, you might ask. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Just turn on your scope, plug in your probe, hook it up to your circuit and press the auto button. It will show you some Chinese character and there you go, it's your signal. But when you try to do it manually, things are a bit tricky. In the bottom left, you will see this icon, which changes as you press the OK button. Different icons means different setting. As a beginner, you might find it little bit difficult to start with but it's just a matter of time and you will memorize all the things. Speaking about myself, even in the beginning, I got confused, but in matter of few minutes, I figured it out, so it was not really a big deal. And now let's talk about the performance. Performance wise, I was not able to test this scope up to its limit because I don't have a signal generator of such high frequency at the moment, but in couple of days, I will test it and update the description or the comment section. And also you can follow me on social media and I will post an update over there. But now let's talk about what I tested. As far as I was able to test it, it works really great. It shows all kind of different waveforms, let it be sine wave, square waves, etc. And also the measurements on the scope are accurate. But however, I observed a little bit of jitter or lag sometimes, but it works most of the time. And also a auto trigger is also a great feature along with AC-DC coupling. Another feature I really like is that you can also save the waveform in this scope which is absolutely fantastic. Alright, let's conclude this video with pros and cons and finally my thoughts. On the plus side, this oscilloscope is really compact and it fits right in my hand and it's really portable, I can carry it anywhere with me. Secondly, it has got an inbuilt battery which is of 3000 mAh, it gets the job done, the manufacturer says it's 10 hours but it's definitely not that long. And another thing which I like is that the probe they provide even though it's 3.5mm jack, it's gold plated, so it's really high quality. But on the bad side, there is no indicator when you charge this scope. But when you turn on, it shows you a little arrow over here, it, which means it's charging. I'm not sure if, if it does charge when it's turned off, 
but it does charge when we turn on the scope. So that's on a bad side. Another thing which is on the bad side is that even though the jack is gold plated, but it's a 3.5 mm headphone jack. If you lose this probe or let's say you damage this probe, you can't really get another probe like this because I was not able to find any listing for such probe. If you find then let me know, otherwise you have to buy a 3.5mm headphone jack to a BNC connector and use those normal probe which comes with a BNC connector. But using such connectors will only add a parasitic resistance and parasitic capacitance in your circuit and mess up with your readings. Lastly on the bad side, even though you can save the waveforms on this scope but you can't really transfer it to your computer. So it's one bad thing but we have to live with it. In conclusion, DSO338 is a really great product. But will I recommend to buy it to anyone? Mm, only to the beginners, not to the professional. Because there are some disadvantages like the sampling rate is too low for the professionals. But for the beginners, at price point of somewhere around $90, it's really great product. And as a beginner, you don't really want to spend $500 to $800 on an oscilloscope. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.